Rightio guys, it's time to get on Harry, the Boulevard C50, take him out, give him a bit of a run. I know a few guys have been saying, poor old bloody Harry sitting in the back blocks, not bloody getting any bit of a, any much of a run. That's the, that's the problem. I get, I get on bloody the DR650 and I just have fun and it's great and I just get into that mojo. Same with the posty bike, you know, I have times where it's just, ah, posty bike, posty bike. And the same with Harry, not so much Harry because Harry's really the on-road, you know, he's an on-road thing. I do take him off-road, obviously, but for around here and just doing little quick things, you know, the other two bikes are much more, much more fun, I suppose. Every time I jump on Harry, I love getting on him and he's so like comfortable and it's cool and I, in my brain I go, yeah, I need to get out and do a big trip. Um, so anyway, I've got to give him a run. So what do you guys reckon? Should we go road? or should we go dirt? All right, you, have you made your decision? I'm now looking into the magic crystal ball of YouTube. Cool, you just decided dirt. All right. <laughs> All right, let's bloody, uh, let's get into it. Oh yeah, guys, so as you saw, the dog is sleeping. Leave sleeping dogs lie. Now we need a helmet. And a jacket. Right here, yeah, guys, so what's the plan? Plan is jump on Harry, head over to Shacklands, get to one of the dams. I sh I sh there's some decent tracks there, nothing too bloody crazy for uh, Harry to get through. Um, We'll take off, buddy. I've got Sparky all charged up. We'll get some bloody uh, drone footage. I'm gonna make a cupper out there, and I'm gonna use the fire cooking duvalaki. Righty, hey! Open up the bloody door to get Harry out. Yeah, Harry hasn't been started for a while, and um, this is the difference between carburetor and fuel injected. Righty, hey! Turn on. He's a bit bloody grotty. Oh no, I might have a flat battery. Shit. Well, bugger me. That's why you should ride your bike more often. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's all bloody cruddy. He needs a good clean up. It's because he sits outside all the time. All right, now, I've got this. This is really good for jump starting, but I've had a problem with this, and I think it's got a, somewhere in there, it's got a loose connection, so hopefully I can get this done. Jesus. Holy jumping alladic alladic. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, well they are well and truly bloody on the way out. Okay, so. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, the key's down here. I see it's just registered. So hopefully, I can get this done. Oh. oh, I need me, oh, I need to have the clutch in. Shit. Oh, this, I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. No. Come on. Come on, register. Oh, 
Come on, beep. Oh, I need, I need to be an octopus. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh, no. Come on. Just got to get it in the right bloody angle. Oop. Here we go. Oh, we might have it, guys. Oh. Well, if that looked hard to you guys, I had to use my hip to hold the clutch in. <laughs> it was bloody hard. All right, don't stop. He should hopefully get enough charge to get out there and I'll obviously carry this and hopefully I can replicate what I just did then. Let's just get going. Rightio guys, so hang on. Harry just stalled and obviously his battery is totally flat so I've got to do a proper recharge on it. Hopefully the battery's still good. So I've got to grab all the shit out of here and the other bag and let's see, now this is carburetor. The battery is knackered in this thing. Let's see the difference of a Kickstarter and a carburetor. Oh, I might as well get a wet ass on this. Rightio. Let's. Now, if I turn the key on, I get no electronics. If I try and toot the horn, I get nothing. So I know the battery's dead. It basically just runs with that uh, whatever thing, the alternator or whatever. All right, so I'm on there. I should be able to, hopefully, oh, come on, maybe a bit of choke. And there you go guys, that's the difference with a Kickstarter, carburetor. It's a little bit, yeah, you got to bloody, it's the same with the Dower. If it hasn't been running, it takes a bit to get it going. Harry, on the other hand, as long as he's got power, press that button and he'll start up, no worries. Right, swap all the stuff over, then we'll get going. Righty, guys, so I've got everything swapped over. Hopefully, oh. ah, just turn the bloody choke off. Oh, this did not turn out the way that I expected. I'm gonna need a cuppa after all this. Bloody hell. Another thing with carbureted bikes, until they're warmed up, it does this shit. Oh. All right, check off. Come on, Charlie. I reckon he's getting worse in his old age. Yes, I checked the fuel. There's fuel in there. I've even I've got it on reserve. <sighs> Let me come back to you. Charlie go. Oh, it's cold and I've worked up a sweat. Right eh. Gotta remember I got a dodgy bag on the back. One of the videos you might have seen I hit one I go and do a McDougal's crack. 
and uh, I hit this big bloody tree that had been cut. I didn't realise I ripped my back bag. Right, let's just go. Now that's the thing with Charlie, I know once he gets going, he's sweet. I mean, it, this used to sit, it could sit for uh, six months and I'd start at first pop. Maybe he's getting a bit old, maybe it's too cold. Who knows? All right, we'll see you when I get to the, uh, the dirt tracks. Righty, yeah, guys, so we've got to the dirt tracks. Oh, ah, he's a little bit wet out here. I can't believe all that happened. It's like crazy. So, carburetors, fuel injected. Yeah, they have their, their, their pluses. I couldn't have bloody scripted that, could I? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, obviously fuel injected is just, it's a no-brainer. Keep your bloody battery charged and you're all good. Um, and obviously, you know, you're not going to have a kick-started fuel-injected bike. I don't, I don't, I don't. Would there be, is there a bike that is fuel-injected and has a kick-start? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'd be interested to know. Oh, I know, I've got me... Oh, shit! You say, I've got me mining boots on, I won't get wet feet. Um, yeah, crazy. Well, I'm now looking forward to getting out to the dam, sitting down, lighting up the little firebox and uh, making a cuppa. I didn't bring uh, Sparky. Obviously, you saw all that really quick, but there was a lot of stuff arsing around. And what? Um, Jesus. Uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? So I just, oh, they were inside getting charged. I thought, no, nah, bugger it. I'm just going. So there's no drone footage coming up. Yep. Uh, so this is on the way to the shack. Um, and then to get to, going this way, to get to the shack, there's a turn off that we do that goes into yeah, a lot more cruddy bloody uh, track. Pretty rutted out and shitty. Good fun. But uh, not something that I would take Harry on. And I still want to go to the dam. Got a bit of sun poking through. Might be nice. And having the little fire, firebox, you know, I can get a little bit of warmth off that while I'm sitting out there. Oh, still. Not too bad. It's quite nice, actually. Everything, oh, you know, green, wet. Um, and the smell, it's, it's a totally different smell. Yeah, you don't have that dust, you know, just the small amounts. Yeah, quite different. It's nice. It's a nice change. Come on, Charlie, up you go. Hoopa! There's the amount of times that, like, over the years that I've been coming out to the track, all the different tracks and stuff, in each place, except for the further out places, obviously, but um, you can see progression. Suburbia slowly but slowly itching its way out. You know, it's a shit thing if you're a motorbike rider or, a, I don't know, a walker or an environmentalist or whatever, but, you know, it's progression. That's just that's how, bloody, how it works. You gotta you gotta keep expanding. Whoa! I was supposed to go up and I went down. Huh. Oh wow. Holy shit balls! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, holy shit, I survived that, oh my god. That was like slow, I, I, 
I was just about to turn these cameras off and say I'll see you when I get there. Holy shit! There was those. I don't know what the hell, what the hell happened, but it was like he wouldn't, like he was still going full bore. He's still running. Shit! There were so many different obstacles just then that I was gonna thought I was gonna hit. Man. Um, like I said, I can't script this shit. All right. Neutral, first, right, oh God. He built up a bit of a uh, thing there. Hopefully I can get out. Oh, that over. Wow. That was crazy. Oh, that hurt. Jarred me arm. All right, let's continue. Maybe we might just take it a bit slower. And, uh, it, well, there you go. <laughs> what is, the universe is against me today. Man, is it against me. But I say, fuck you, universe. You're not stopping me. I'm coming to this bloody... I, I can just see it now. I'm going to this dam. I'm going to build myself a little fire. I'm going to sit there, have a cuppa, and... Talk to me mates on bloody YouTube. And look at that, there's a freaking four wheel drive over there. I swear to God, the universe is just going, nah Mark, you wanted to do what you wanted to do and we're saying no. Oh. Well, hopefully this guy pisses off so I can sit in peace. And, uh, oh, he's got his dog out, oh, the hell. All right, might go to a different dam, guys. Oh, uh, he might, yeah, he might piss off. Well, there you go. Rightio, guys, I'm having a cigarette. Let me have a cigarette. Oh, that will, that's been a bit of a traumatic experience getting here. Righto, grab me bloody bits and pieces. I didn't think about um, getting a wet ass, so. The old air hook. Ugh. Righto. Let's get the fire going. Okay, so I got me bloody wood here. Just a old tree. I'm just using one of those. Uh, where's the lighter? <coughs> Hey guys, so can you see, you can see me there? It's quite a busy little bloody uh, road coming here because obviously on the on the other side as we're coming in, there's a lot of uh, houses now. There we go. We're pretty sweet with that now. There the old pot. Ah, water, did I bring the water? Yep. Uh, that should do it, I reckon. The old fire's going all right now. You wouldn't believe it, it's actually starting to rain. Oh. Cooking. One cup. I was planning on having a um, hey, having a cup of tea, but I tell you what, I'm going a coffee. A little spoon. Beautiful. See, I tell you what, this thing burns down so quick when you've got just a little stuff on it. You can't really walk walk away from this thing because it burns so quick and it, you're only using small amounts of stuff. Right, stick that on there. That should be a done deal. 
So yeah, this is just uh, one of the dams out in the Shacklands, which is where we are. And yeah, as you saw, there was a guy with a four-wheel drive. He was actually walking, so he was in the, in the Jeep driving along while the bloody dog was having a ball just getting out there. Um, so yeah, so it's common to see people out here. I just thought uh, today wouldn't have been, you know, this time of the day, people should be working. And here I am, out on the posty bike, having a, making a cuppa. That should be, oh. yeah, that'll be sweet. Where are we going? Oh yeah, it's already heating up. A little ways to go. Okay, looks like we are boiling. Leave a little bit for cleanup. The cold water so I can drink it. Just chuck some bigger sticks in this thing. It's quite nice having that bloody bit of warmth. Oh, there we go. Whew. Oh, well deserved cuppa. So there you go guys, that did not turn out the way that I expected that to go. So obviously, hopefully the footage came out of that, uh, I don't know, that craziness. Um, here we go, if I've got it, here it is in slow motion. Yeah, so I don't know what that looks like because obviously I'm here and I haven't looked at the footage. So there you go, when the bloody universe is... I was actually, after that battery, when, I, when it conked out and then I couldn't get it going again, I thought, oh, bugger this. Oh, bloody, you have to charge the battery and by the time you get all that done, it's like the day's gone. And I thought, no, blow it. I'm going to fight against the universe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, jump on Charlie, there you go. Oh, it's not a bad spot here, but there's too many, uh, there's quite a few cars that have gone past and the guy that was walking his bloody dog's come back down. He actually didn't, I thought he was going to come out through here, but he's gone that way and then he bloody gunned it and then water's going up. He obviously went through a bit of a boggy patch. I was too slow with the camera. Oh, good shit. Well, we're certainly getting plenty of water here in Bendigo. Um, and it's really good rain. It's not. Uh, it's been you know not torrential rain or anything. It's just you know nice, constant, decent bloody where the ground can bloody soak it all up and it just doesn't run away. Um, all the dams around here will be getting off. Will be all pretty much filled up now, I reckon, which is good for the wildlife. Um, yeah, and of course all the green grass and everything. The bloody all the animals will be loving it. Well, I think I'll call this video quits here. I'll just sit here a little bit longer, finish my cuppa. I'll uh, pack all this up, and of course, with this type of fire, which you can't see, and I'm not gonna pick it up because I'll burn my hands, and I can't be bothered moving because I'm quite comfortable sitting here. Charlie's quite a good backrest. Um, yeah, there'll be, there'll be no mess here. That's the beauty of the, the firebox, <clears throat> is that it just burns everything practically just to ash that's it and then once it's once it's gone out it doesn't take long to um, cool down but 
it's messy. It, you get the because it's on the fire, so you get the soot all over your um, pot and pan. You've got to go and collect the, the dry wood. Any other time than, than winter, you don't have a problem. Like everything's as dry as a bone. You, know, you grab shit, just twigs off the off the um, off the ground in your sweet. But <clears throat> that's where the gas, the gas bloody stove, comes in handy. You just plop it out, turn it on, cook it up, turn it off, boom, you're done. But you don't have this romantic, call it romantic, uh, thing of fire. You know, an open fire. There's something very mesmerising about uh, about the, the fire and the flames. We'll sit here and we'll just watch it forever. All right, back to the man cave. Hey guys, so we are back in the man cave. What the devil did I learn out of that? Well, when the universe is coming for you, punch it in the face. Tell it to get back in its box. Rightio, so I have the battery all charged up, as you can see there. So I'm definitely jumping back on Harry and we'll go out and we'll do something on the dirt because that's what you guys chose. All right, remember guys, keep on riding. And if you ain't riding, Keep on keeping on.